What's up, you two-stroke fanatics? Sebastian from Panther Motorsports for a little um, technical video again today. Um, this is uh, concerning, actually, the new engine coming up, the Panther Typhoon 600, the R600cc single-cylinder two-stroke. Now, a lot of you, of you already know uh, this is going to be a, a fuel-injected engine. So, we had a lot of research, uh, R&D to make about that, making sure we had proper characterization and information about how fuel injection works in a two-stroke. Um, so we actually built ourselves a test bench to test all that uh, spray pattern, uh, injector uh, characterization and, and the flow. Um, our main, main concern was actually that uh, since we're gonna fit this engine in many different bikes, we are actually gonna be injecting the pre-mix uh, so oil already in the fuel, we know it's possible, KTM's doing it already. Now, uh, it was about figuring out what happens if you mix 20 to 1, 60 to 1, 100 to 1, uh, what happens at minus 20, minus 30, uh, does the, the increased viscosity of the fuel actually will change the spray and the, the, the flow of the injection. So we uh, managed, that's why this bench is actually by the door right now, because we're just rolling it outside and, and testing it outside at minus 20 right now in winter, stuff like that. So we were able to characterize all that. Uh, so this, this, this bench is pretty neat, actually. We've just really uh, reproduced what's going to happen on the bike. The, the runs um, from 12 volt. If, if he pumps the fuel, we are spinning the flywheel of the bike and its stator. The motorcycle will send it to the ECU. ECU then sends the signal to the the injector and that way we're capable of really seeing what's going on between the fuel pump and the injector itself really um, neat and sophisticated flow meter for injectors which measure the flows up to 0.1 uh, cc per minute so we're really knowing what's going on how much how much gasoline is being delivered to the injector and uh, we can run some long-term uh, long-term simulation as well and see if uh, there's a variations in flow with time so, so now I really feel like mid buster right now because we're really gonna see uh, a little test with the, 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 the spray pattern and the speed of it because uh, one of the injector of the engine actually gonna be crankcase injection which meaning the injector is gonna be in the in the base of the engine that's uh, um, really neat because that also allows for injecting to specific part in the engine like connecting rod bearings uh, and other uh, critical parts and trying to use the, the flow of the fuel, the spray, to cool down and lubricate those parts. Now what we were wondering actually is how fast does the fuel come up out of the injector? We're gonna put a high-speed camera in front of the injector right now and just, uh, and yeah, have a look at what it looks like and what speed and calculate the the, the time needed for the full spray to, uh, to go through the, 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 the length of that scale. Now, as we've measured right now, uh, approximate time and distance uh, being being used to do the calculation, it appears that the spray comes out approximately 4,000 to 5,000 feet per second, which is gonna be close to the speed of the component we could try to aim at um, during the cycle. With that value, we're gonna be able to calculate exactly when to start the injection in order to make sure there's an amount of fuel in the area we want when the bearings and the pistons are crossing it. Uh, to lubricate and cool down all those components while using that heat to evaporate and make a, be a better mixture, um, homogeneous mixture in the combustion chamber. So, um, yeah, really cool. Hope you like that little video and just keep following us for more information about the new Panzer PM PM09 600cc. See you guys.